In this video, we're gonna talk Tesla stock prediction and also a price target for Tesla stock that you should be paying attention to on why. Hey, hey, what's up, Elon? Hey, matter of fact, you might wanna watch this video. All right, I'll send you the link. Anyway, let's get into the charts. Okay, this is the latest news out of te the uh, Tesla camp. Basically what this is, it's an announcement that came out to this Tesla slides on widening delivery and production gaps and demand worries. Basically what happened was uh, Tesla put out their estimate of deliveries, meaning how many cars they delivered, which is so weird. I don't know any other car company that does this. They put out, hey, we delivered this many cars. I don't know why they don't sell. We sold as many cars, why we don't, why they don't put out, just put out their earnings. They always put this out ahead of their earnings. Hey, we delivered 350,000 cars or whatever it is. But if it's, for this time that they put this out, it actually was lower than estimates. I, me and estimates, I really don't care what estimates are because that's just some guy, an economist or whoever it is saying, hey, this company should deliver 400,000. So if they delivered 405,000, oh, they beat estimates and the stock go up. So estimates I really don't pay attention to. Earnings is what I pay attention to. But for this time, their estimates came in lower. I think they delivered uh, 450,000 cars in the fourth quarter and that's 50% over, over annually and it was expected to deliver 495,000. But this is the thing. I would say a couple years ago, I'm not sure, but we've been saying that Tesla is delivering those cheaper cars. And it says it right here, Model Y and Model 3 in this period. The S as in Sam and the X was the most expensive cars they had that got them into the market. But they can't sell those kind of cars in this volume right now. So they were smart to go to a cheaper car. Okay, let's go to the charts. All right, this is Tesla charts right here. This is the yearly. And as you can see, um, the first thing I want to point out is the past, what history we're coming back from. If you guys don't remember, which you probably don't, back in 2019 and on, like 2018, 2019, Tesla was close to being going to bankrupt again. Look at the stock price here. I mean, we're, we're, we're bleeding right here. And you see this note we got here? First stimulus check. Look what happened in 2020. Okay, they, they rode the wave up. The stock was doing better than the car company, whatever it was. People bought the stock, a lot of people got rich, so called. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Um, so that's what we did. We went up, we went up, and they capitalized on that. They split the stock here on in September 2020. And I'm gonna jump ahead and to show you where we're at right now. Okay, we put out a video back uh, probably two months ago when they announced that we we're gonna do another stock split. And we, pr we pretty much said what it was. That's a money grab. They know that the economy's going down, the stimmy checks are going away, and this is their last chance to bring people in with a cheaper stock price. Like people who, like, you know, prior to this, it was $1,200 or something like this. Oh no, 600. So people, just to get that below that so people can buy more of it, you think you're getting a deal on it, they went ahead and did a stock split and this is what this symbol is right here. This is um, trading view, by the way. And um, so you can see it was a three for one split. So that's what brings the stock price around. It was around 300 bucks when they did it. So that's that. So now the deliveries come out um, showing that they, they're delivering less cars than the estimate. Again, I don't care about the estimates. I care about the earnings. And see what this says right here? This E is for earnings. Their earnings are estimated to come out in October 19th, right? So right now, those earnings are gonna come out. They're gonna be bad. They're gonna be bad because the deliveries came out. They're gonna be right basically in line. They're, they're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're not gonna beat. And remember, they're delivering the cheaper cars. So based on that, I'm gonna show you a scenario. People say, oh, I made a lot of money off Tesla. I'm, I'm gonna buy the dip again. Let me show you how a bear market works. Those people who bought up here and rolled this all the way up and it took a dip, guess what they did? They bought more. They bought more. They're gonna keep buying this all the way down again. Keep buying the dip, buying the dip, buying the dip, buying the dip until they get right here. And you know, they're gonna be like, you know what, F Tesla. And then they're gonna sell at the bottom. That's exactly what's gonna happen. 80% of the people who made money on Tesla, they're either underwater right now, or they're out of the market, they went into something else, which they should have did, or they're gonna ride it all the way down again. Keep buying and buying and buying, and thinking it's the same old glory from 2020, 2020 and 2021. That's what's gonna happen. Time tested, that's how a bear market works. It draws you back in. You think things change, are the same, and it's not. So, matter of fact, before we get out of here, let me show you an options play, what we do in our Patreon group the link is below you'll see it this is the type of stuff we put on there like i said um today uh, a couple of our traders obviously had uh tesla they were they were short on tesla not short traditionally and they got out of that trade today they put the trade on last week 
I was busy trading silver, in case you didn't know, silver uh, was up like a dollar and something today. So we were busy with that. So let me go Let me go real quick and show you this. Um, usually we show this only to our, our, our family and friend circle and then Patreon. But yeah, this is the options. This is not Robin Hood. This is Think or Swim. This is where the big guys play at. I mean, this is close as you can get to being on Wall Street. This is where the big guys play at, and this is the, the platform that we use. You can actually use this and execute your uh, trades on Robinhood or, or Webull if you want because the fees are cheaper. But here, this is strictly where big guys play at, and you'll see why in a little bit. Okay, all right, so this is, uh, let me get to the singles here. This is this expires this week. These are the calls on one side, puts on one side. As you can see, up 360 on this. A trade like this, we would have put that on last week and be getting out of it today. So that's how we play it. We saw what Tesla's gonna do over the weekend. They announced that. We knew they was gonna announce that over the weekend. They always do that. They always announce deliveries on the weekend prior to the earnings coming out. For a fact, we know that. So we already knew to have our trades on. But like I said, I wasn't in that. If you look to the left here, we were in silver and silver was up, uh, like I said, a dollar and some change today. And right now it's after market while I'm filming it. So it's night and this is the futures market so it's up a little bit today but we are i'm already out of the silver trade anyway so so yeah this is where you will play at and um there's a couple of complex trades that you probably could still put on but like i said my guys are already out of it but it's like something like a uh jump into a, a vertical like you know just for like a cash play or something like that we would come in and we would even buy this one this is right here the symbols to buy this uh put option right here at 180 190 that's eight bucks we will put that on and yet you can see, the, even though it's far away from Tesla price is 242 right now, it's far away from 180. But see, it made two dollars today. So last week, this one, if you put this one on right now, you've been looking at forty dollar profit. This probably was around twenty dollars. Yeah, around twenty dollars. That minus that equals around twenty something dollars. You have ten of those on, ten times forty one, you got four hundred ten dollars, and you put it on two hundred. So fifty, 50 you know, you look at that ratio. But and also you can come on this side right here you can see this lost 176 dollars so you could have sold this last week or you can get further in here and do this one you know so that's pretty much how the plays go the option market if you know what you're doing it's pretty much like punching money into an atm you, you just you can make money every day if you wanted to it's just how much money you want to make you put in a certain amount of capital and you get it out at a certain percentage wise with lower risk you want to lower your risk and get extreme income so that's one of the things we do I didn't want this video to be so long, but I do want to show you that like crypto.